What is good, my YouTube family? Here we got the names already drawn out for the Fortnite tournament. And we are going to pick these names. Now, I want to remind everyone, this is my first Fortnite hosting tournament. Okay, so um, I'm mainly doing this for the people that don't have um, Call of Duty. So let's just guinea pig our way through this. And hopefully it works out for the best. Uh, the way I have it set up, I believe, is very good, very perfect. So the loser of round one will still get a second chance. There will be a loser bracket. Uh, for the grand final, though, you have to beat him in the, the best of three rounds twice. So that's how it's going to pl be played out. So it's literally six rounds. Um, so I was going to do it where it's just five rounds and you get as many points as you can um, it still might change I'll, I'll, I'll ask people you know do you want it just to be one big game where there's six rounds or just two three rounds I think two three rounds is better just because let's say you do a let's say Caleb and Jack's at the end let's just in theory let's just say they're to make it to the end okay if Jack was in the winners bracket and he loses his three rounds the first time to Caleb. Then Caleb has to do another three rounds to beat him. And Jack has to beat him. So, I don't know. It's very confusing. But I can explain a lot easier somewhere else where everyone's in the party. And they can, they'll pick up what I'm putting down. Bracket play is can be very confusing. But the way I have it in my mind, it's perfect. And... As everyone knows, my brackets normally turn out just fine, so I'll explain more as I go. Uh, it's a three-round point race, uh, solo duo match. So I'm going to drop in with them, kill myself, and let them go to town. So this is how we're going to score it, so pay attention. You guys can even help me score it. Uh, one knock, if you knock your opponent down, it's going to be one point. One full kill is two points. So, solo duos. If you knock the one guy and you kill his opponent, that's three points. Because you got a knock and you got the kill on both ends. If you knock him, he revives him, that's still a point. And then you knock him again, that's another point. And you kill them both, that's, that's now, I think, five points if I did my math correctly. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm... Each knock is going to be a point. Each kill is going to be a point. So if you knock your opponent and you kill his teammate, that's a squad wipe. That's three points. Even if he revives him, you still get that knockdown point. If you get top eight, they're getting a point. If you get third, you get three points. If you get second, you get five points. If you get first, you get ten points. So there is placement medals too. So let's see how it goes. I think it's going to be really exciting. We got three people in this tournament that's not part of Colossal, but it's still going to be a con Colossal Showdown matchup. So let's see who we get in the first round. We get Mike. Alrighty, Mike. Who do you go against? We're about to find out. Mike and Devin. All right. Might be a pretty good match right there. We got Alex. Going against Princess. That ought to be a good one. Alrighty, here we go. Tyler. So that's one of the new guys. His username's Striker. See who he gets to go against now. He's going to be going against some pretty good players. Looks like it's going to be Caleb. Alrighty, Caleb. Caleb. So that's interesting. That is interesting. Jack and Jordan get to go against each other, and they're best friends. Predictions? I can't even tell you. 
I I can't even begin to tell you the predictions on this one. Uh, Jack and Caleb's pretty good. Mike and Devin's pretty good. Tyler, I haven't actually ever seen him play, so he actually might be really good. Jack and Jordan, I know, I know Jack's good. So that is our, that is our bracket. That's uh, that's an interesting setup, honestly. So not only does Caleb get the new player in the Call of Duty tournament, but he also gets a new player here. In Fortnite, so he's gonna have a. He's gonna have to do something. He's gonna have to bring his A game, I think. But now I am going to opt out and tell them they have a choice to know how many points they need to get or not. Whoever goes first is gonna have a lot of pressure because they gotta score as much as they can. You know. Because they won't, they won't know. So like Mike and Devin, one of them guys are going to have to go first. And they're going to just have to go off. The other guy has an option to either watch my video and see how many points he scores. I'm not going to tell them unless they ask. It's a don't ask, don't tell kind of thing. So if they don't watch it, I don't have to tell them. Now I don't know which one's more pressure. Knowing how many points you need or not knowing how many points you need. I don't know. To me, I, I'd rather just go in, do my thing, and not have to worry about getting points. That's just my opinion. I'd rather not know. I'd rather just go in and think I did good and be like, oh, man, I was a point off. Or, but that's me. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Here's the new bracket for Fortnite. And as always, if you're new here, subscribe. And I hope to see you there. Bye, guys.